Hey, what's up SHC? Uh, this is your VPF cam. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a video about how to change the blade in um, your circular saw. Um, I had trouble doing this at first um, just because like the bolt was stuck on there so tightly um, that like no matter how much I did of uh, like with force on the wrench, um, you know, I was always slipping off. Um, you know, I guess like, you know, I was still exerting, you know, that force, but I was like always just flipping off. So what I did is I brought it to Ace, uh, appliance and, or not Ace appliance, but just, you know, Ace hardware. And, um, they actually used, ended up using just an Allen key instead of a wrench. You can use either, but the Allen key is much better, uh, kind of in terms of like keeping it close and not actually slipping off. So we use an Allen key, um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I reattached it, um, you know, just because I was like, oh, this would make a good video. Um, so this blade on um, this saw is pretty worn out. It's pretty crappy. Cutting through wood is actually kind of like, uh, like it takes a long time. So I bought this uh, Diablo replacement uh, blade uh, to replace it. So like when you buy the replacement blade, you just kind of have to mark, mac, um, yeah, sorry, uh, match up the, you know, diameter of the blade. Um, so what, you, how you do this is, um, in order, you know, this freely moves normally. So, um, there's a key, a locking mechanism that you need to lock it in there. That's locked in. So now this won't move back and forth. Yeah. All right, let's see how this is going to work. There we go. So I have my hand still on that locking mechanism and um, you can kind of feel when the locking mechanism actually slides into place. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just uh, loosen it. So it's a lot easier than it was before last time. Um, you know, it was really stuck on there. So I just held on and loosened this bolt and this bolt just comes right out. So that's where that bolt was. There's this special looking spacer, I guess. And then there's um, this guy that actually, um, you know, holds the um, blade to the actual um, cylinder, you know, this one's. Um, so then I'm just going to, ah! so I just took it off. So I'm going to replace it with the new blade. So, um, I removed the old one and, uh, put the new one into the saw. And now what I'm going to do is just, uh, is this guy first. That's the guy that actually clamps down um, to the saw and then the spacer and then this bolt. All right, awesome. And then it's tight and then I'm just gonna do the exact opposite of what I just did, which was, you know, loosening it. Um, I'm going to tighten it. Tighten this guy. We're going to tip the lock, lock it in place. There's that lock. There's a slipping kind of like I was talking about before. Almost want to get an Allen wrench because these sides of it you can tell are kind of yeah. I'm gonna get an Allen wrench and do the same thing again. All right, guys. So I found an Allen wrench um, and it fits in there, and I'm just gonna tighten down and do the same thing. As I understand it, you want it pretty tight, so I think that's good. Let's give it a test. 
All right, so I just tested out my saw and it's working great. Um, so I'm on to make some screens uh, in my next video. So hopefully you guys check that out too. See ya.